Thanks for joining us. I'd like to talk about uh, Wall Coverings Association's year in 2015 and also cover a few things that we have planned for 2016. First of all, I'd like to cover our great face-to-face -face events. The first event that we held was the annual conference in Clearwater Beach, Florida. It had great reviews, we had wonderful speakers, and we look forward to the 2016 event uh, coming up soon. I'd also like to mention the fall conference in Rosemont, Illinois. We had a lot of new faces join us, and it was uh, a very good program. And finally, I'd like to talk about our Tech Track program. Uh, it was the third year that we held Tech Track, and the program was uh, received very positively. It was a great experience for both customer service and uh, sales reps from various member firms, and it's something that we plan on doing again in the future. The next area that I'd like to talk about is the wall coverings PR and product category promotion uh, that we've been doing in 2015. It was a really great year uh, where we did some new things that we hadn't done in the past and we got a lot of exposure both to the category but also related to the NSF 342 sustainability standard. With our partners at Interior Design Magazine, we were placed in the spring and fall market tabloids with information talking about the standard, uh, as well as a two-page spread that ran in the Neocon show directory. In addition to that, throughout the year, there have been other news stories, both online and in print, that have run in various media outlets, talking about the sustainability assessment and educating the architecture and design community about all of the good work that we're doing as an industry related to sustainability. We received a lot of uh, wall covering product category promotion in 2015. Uh, we were covered by NPR nationally on their radio program Marketplace, and the story's still up there, uh, and it's talking about the resurgence of wall covering. Uh, in addition to that, we were covered nationally and internationally by Tribune Media, all the way from uh, LA, Chicago, to the Philippines and Australia with a, cover, a story called Wall Covering That Makes You Say Wow. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about what we have coming up in 2016. And I'll start by speaking a little bit about how we're going to continue to promote and enhance the NSF 342 sustainability standard. The new tool that's currently being developed in conjunction with the technical and the marketing committee is the uh, scorecard. Essentially it's a way to explain the point, how the points are earned uh, for certified product and give additional transparency into uh, you know, what it takes to uh, earn a particular level of certification uh, within the NSF 342 sustainability assessment. We will be working in conjunction with the technical committee and a group of stakeholders uh, to create uh, product category rules. Uh, the efforts are already underway with ASTM and we plan on working through the remainder of 2015 and into the first part of 2016 to create product category rules, which are the first step that we'll need to take in order to create an industry average environmental product declaration. 2016 is WA's 25th anniversary. It's the 25th anniversary of when the Wholesale Association merged with the Manufacturing Association. So at this year's annual conference, which is January 31st through February 2nd, we will be doing a lot of anniversary activities. We'll have some information, pictures, and stories of uh, WA's last uh, quarter century. Uh, but we also have a great lineup of speakers for you. Thank you very much for a 2015 that was uh, outstanding. And uh, I hope you're as excited as I am about 2016. Thank you.